That's so great. I mean, sorry, I interrupted your flow. You were you were talk, telling us the the history of the books. Sorry. So automate the boring stuff. I I started writing that, and you know, because I had all these stories of yeah. of people, you know, who were who are not software engineers, who are not computer science majors, and they they kind of asked me like, well, I don't know what what would I need to know, and I thought, well, Python is great because. Yeah. Python it has such a gentle learning curve. Uh, I, I started looking at how people learn to program today, and I realized it is so much easier to program today. Uh, the expectations are really high because when we yeah. think of programming, we think of AI and self-driving cars and social media websites with millions of users. But actually, programming today is is way easier than it was in the 90s or 80s, just because the, the language is easier, the tools make it easier, there's so much more documentation and help. And uh, so I started compiling a list of, well, okay, what do non-software engineers need to learn? What, what is the programming for office workers? Uh, yeah. What are those topics that they need to have? And so, you know, I came up with a list and that sort of became Automate the Boring Stuff with Python, which is a, a title that I remember throwing a whole bunch of words together and thinking like, well, it's needs to have Python in it, it needs to have automate yep. in it. And well, what am I showing people how to do? Because I didn't want to just have like, oh, programming for beginners in Python or something like that. Yeah, it's a very boring, yeah. Yeah, and and there's just so much boring stuff that you don't <laughs> exactly. want to do. And yep. this is why we have computers to make yep. our lives easier, even though oftentimes computers make our lives more difficult. But um, yeah, this this uh all came together into this book and i i remember i i looked into my diary entry while i was writing this book and i had some day where i said like i have no idea if this book is going to be popular at all i've i've spent like a year writing this i i left my job as a software engineer because i i sort of wanted to switch companies at that point anyway so i thought like okay yeah. i'll just take a year off finish writing this book and then get another software developer job. And the book really took off. And so now I've been writing books pretty much ever since, uh, what, 2013. 